Hey guys, I'm Rachel, and this I'm is Ashton. Ashton, yeah. We're, I'm from the Three Sisters Toys House, and today we're going to be calling scary numbers. I'm scared because I get scared so easily. He's not scared. He's already called them all, but I've heard some of them, but some of them are scary, really, really scary. Two of them are funny, and four of them aren't. Like, they're weird, some of them. All right, are we going to call bottom? So, the first one we're going to call 1207 Four oh four two six oh four. This one is like a, I don't know. Four. No, not four four. Four oh four. Oh four. Uh. Two six zero four. One two six zero four. Don't be scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, unreachable. It's unreachable. It says it's unreachable. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Six, oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. That's so scary. 605-475-6961. Uh, 475-6961. I'm shaking. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, my God. How are you not scared of this? Because I've tried to do it. Thank you for calling the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hogwarts is an mm -hmm. exceptional boarding school for aspiring witches. And I want you to shut up. Aged 11 to 18. Mm -hmm. Please listen carefully to the following menu options before making your selection. For campus you saw me do it. I know, but it's so scary. How is this scary? I don't know. But what if there's a real person campus, behind all this? The campus can be reached by taking the Hogwarts Express. If the train is boarded from platform and then if the train was hey, if you can hear my voice the train leaves precisely you at 11 a.m. or stupid the There's a train that's boarded campus is at an undisclosed location in Scotland perched upon I think this one's fake because and I all think all of a sudden beep 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 you're something I don't know I don't know I don't want to see a garden we could just make one Beep, beep, beep. What is a muggle? I'm going to look that up after this. Let's look up what's a muggle. I have no idea. Don't look at that up. Why? A muggle is somebody who steals something. How do you know? I've heard of one before. I learned that in school. Hold on, let me see. That's why in Ireland they had this stuff in the shoes. Oh my god, hold on. Hey, you don't believe me? No. No. You'll see. We'll see. What is a muggle? We're using Google on this one. Here's the definition of muggle. Informal. You were wrong. A person who is not conversant with a particular activity or skill. See, it was not stealing. I thought you said you learned that at school. Trying to prove me wrong up there. That's um, what my teacher said. Well, your teacher is retarded then. She has mental problems. Because right here is the definition of a muggle, okay? I, I, I got myself right. I knew that it wasn't that. You I went the wrong way. No, I didn't. I'm going to call... Um, Which one have we not... Oh, yeah, we haven't called the 914. Nine what is that one? one? I forgot what that one was. Four. Just don't ask. 737. Three, seven. Seven, three, seven. 9938. Three, two, one. This is a CPTA announcement test. Uh, what I don't the know hell? Hey. I'm not really that concerned with it. So. One. If anyone gets this, just disregard it. I got Hang it. Up. What? This is a CPTA announcement test. Uh, I don't know you what you're supposed said to that. say. I'm not really that concerned with it. So. If anyone gets this, just disregard it. Okay, and hang I up. just got it. I like that noise. What is this CPTA announcement? Me and, me and Ashton were talking about that. We were like, what the heck is this CPTA? 801. This is the last scary one. And then there's two funny ones. Alright. Alright guys, back to the video. So sorry, that was our dad calling us. I thought I got so scared because I thought it was a scary number calling us. I think I was about to piss myself. Alright, so is that all of them, right? Uh, did we do the 801 one? No, because when we were doing it, Dad called. 
At the end of the video, we'll sh we'll show y'all guys the whole all the um the um numbers. This one, I know what this one is. It means death. It it does uh, um. Hold on. It means death. That's what that means. Yeah. I don't care about your numbers. Heck, is he farting? <laughs> I think he farted. <laughs> he took a big one. He was like, oopsies, I took a big one. What's that one? What happened? Oh. Yeah, it was done. He took a big one. He was like, okay. he was like, you know what? It's time for me. Oh, wait, I gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> These two are scary ones. I mean, not scary ones. They're funny ones. Wait. I, want, I don't know which one's which, though. I think that no, one's... actually, one of them are scary. 6968. Six, six. This one is scary. How? It's about rejected. I think you're on the rejection hotline. Whoever gave you this number? Hello, this is not the person you were trying to call. You've reached the rejection hotline. Unfortunately, the person who gave you this rejection hotline <gasps> yep, this number so does not want you to have their real number. We know this sucks, but don't be too devastated. So why were you given a rejection <laughs> hotline number? Maybe you're just not this person's type. No, this could mean boring, dumb, annoying, arrogant, or just a general weirdo. Maybe you suffer from bad breath, body odor, or a nasty combination of the two. Maybe you just give off that creepy, overbearing, psycho stalker vibe. Well, and the sorry, idea of going out you might you need just to brush your teeth. playing leapfrog with unicorns. Regardless of the reason, I'm please take the hint. Unicorns. Accept the fact that you were rejected. And and then get over it and please do your best to forget about the person who gave you this number because trust us they've already forgotten about you uh, that's mean and sponsored by predictionlog.com whoever I'm made this phone by. number is mean all right hold on i'm gonna dial the last one six zero five six zero five four seven five this one's funny to me Allergic cough wants you to know that you have bad breath. Seriously, your breath smells <laughs> very bad. This message is not intended to be mean. Quite the opposite. This bad breath notification message is intended to help you improve your life and the life of those you breathe near. Bad breath is disgustingly nasty. You have bad breath. That makes you disgustingly nasty. Do something about your bad breath and you will no longer be disgustingly nasty. Do you hear me laughing? No, you don't. Because this is not a joke. There is nothing funny about bad breath. So please do something about your bad breath. Have a nice day. <laughs> Humorhotline.com That one is funny to me. I don't know. Just Dress The rejected one, though, if somebody ever asked me out that I didn't want, I'd just be like, yeah, here's my number. 605-475-6968. And call me tonight, baby. And then they call me and be like, you have just been rejected. Like, that'd be amazing. I would love to do that to somebody. Just be like, bye. But, yes, that's the end of the video. So, I'm no, going to show you. Can we do a little bit more? A little, little, little. Not today. Oh, okay. You so, can do 666 one? Um, I, maybe. So, this is one of them. Um. Yeah, this, that's Rachel. It's backwards on the video. Yeah, but when I post it, it won't be backwards. Sure. And the, the three crossed out ones is the ones we didn't call. Um, the 666 one doesn't work, because every time we call it, it just be like, you know, it hangs up or whatever. She was scared to call all of them. I was scared to call all of them. Well, not the funny ones, because I already knew those ones were. I just, I, I thought those were scams, though, for real. But I watched them from the Scories. If y'all don't know their YouTube channel, you should watch it. I watched it. I got some of the phone numbers from them, not all of them, but some of them I was like, I'm not calling those ones, but I was like, you know what? I haven't done one of these videos yet, so I'm going to try to. So I got some of them, but some of them I was not going to call. I was like, nope, nope, bye, nope. And one of them was a UFO center. I was like, I, we are not supposed to call those ones, supposedly, because it's a real thing. What about the two other thing. ones? Two other ones. One's 666. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable calling that one. I've, it just did beep, and it hung up. That's what it did. That 666 one ain't real. Okay, then... I'm calling it then. We'll prove you. Alright, hit. 
You hold the phone. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Announcement for your call cannot be completed as dialed. It hung up. Yeah, so don't call it again. All right. Um, so this is the end of the video. Please like, please subscribe. Please comment down below which one was the scariest or which one was the funniest between the two funny ones. So please like, please subscribe, and bye.